In this video, we are going to show you how to construct a base cabinet. There are two methods to construct a base cabinet. First is using the clips and screws provided in the box, which we will show you in this video. And the second method is to use a pneumatic brad nailer and staple gun. Either method will provide the necessary strength and durability for building your cabinets. First construction method requires wood glue, rubber mallet, and a screwdriver. Second construction method requires wood glue, rubber mallet, pneumatic brad nailer with 1 inch 18 gauge brads, pneumatic staple gun with 1 inch 18 gauge staples, and a screwdriver. To start, remove all contents from the cabinet box. Place the top section of the cabinet box on your working area to ensure the cabinet does not get scratched while building. Start with the drawer box front, face down, and place a bead of wood glue in all the female dovetail joints. Next, take a side panel and tap the dovetail joints together. If you are using a nailer, you can place a brad into all the dovetail joints, but do not place one in the area of the dado. Complete the other side the same way. Once the sides have been assembled, slide the bottom board into the drawer dado. Finally, insert a bead of glue in the female dovetails of the back piece of the drawer box and install. If you are using a nailer, place a brad nail in the back panel into the side panel of the drawer box. Place it off to the side. If you are constructing a cabinet with multiple drawers, repeat these steps until all drawers are complete. Start the cabinet construction by placing the face frame of the cabinet face down on your working area with the bottom dado closest to you. The face frame has pre-drilled dados located on the sides and bottom to accommodate the panels. Attach your clips with the silver flush mount screws in the designated areas and place a bead of wood glue in the three grooves of the face frame. Next, locate the designated areas and install the clips on the side panels. Install the panel with stained or painted side out flush with the bottom of the face frame. Use the clips that you pre-installed to attach the side panel to the face frame. Alternatively, a pneumatic staple gun can be used to fasten the two pieces together by placing a staple every four to five inches. Continue on and complete the other side the same way. After the two sides are constructed, place the bottom panel in the dado between the two sides. Ensure the panel is seated into the face frame and side panel dados. Do not fasten these panels together until the back panel is in place. The last step in completing the cabinet box is to install the back panel. First, install the glide supports to the panel using the pre-drilled hole and silver flush mount screws. Now, to install the back panel, place it dado side down. Insert the back panel into the side panels. Once the panels are aligned, use the pre-installed clips to fasten the panels together. Insert the black screws provided into the pilot holes on the back of the panel to fasten them together. If you are using a nailer, fasten the sides to the back panel by inserting brads into the side. Insert the wooden stabilizing blocks in each corner on the top inside of the cabinet box. Installation of the toe kick can be done with nailer or clips. Pre-install the clips onto the toe kick and fasten it and the sides together. Installing the glides is the next step. Take the glides and place them through the drawer box and slide them into the back support. Flush the glide up with the front of the face frame and use one of the silver flush mount screws to fasten the glide to the side. Once the glides are installed, extend the glides and install the drawer box. Make sure the back is locked into the hook and the sides are seated into the pin. If you are constructing a cabinet with more than one drawer, repeat these steps for the other drawers. Now place the door frame down on the table and install the hinges in the designated areas and attach it to the face frame. On single door cabinets, the door can be installed on either side, depending on your need. Extend the hinges to an open position and using the silver rounded screws and pilot holes, fasten the door to the face frame. Attach the bumpers to the door and the drawer box. If the door is not square, use the adjustment screws to correct. Finally, you will install the soft close mechanism by placing it onto the top hinge attached to the face frame. Make a full turn on the screw on the soft close for completion. In the same location of the soft close, take the screw out of the hinge and reinstall the screw with riser attached. Now the cabinet is complete. Install the shelf with the provided shelf clips and clean the cabinet of any unwanted glue or debris. 